An 18-year-old who died in August last year after taking drugs during a night out at the club Fabric smuggled drugs into the venue in his boxer shorts before buying more. That's what an inquest heard today into the death of Jack Crossley. He, his was one of several similar cases that led to the nightclub's licence being revoked. Let's get more on this from Alice Saltfield, who joins us from outside the club. Alice. Riz, the inquest heard from two of Jack Crossley's friends who were with him here at Fabric the day he died. They said he'd been to the club twice before, both times taking the drug MDMA, but they believed these were the only times that Jack had ever taken drugs. They said that on the 5th of August, all three of them hid MDMA in their boxer shorts while queuing to get into Fabric. They took the drugs over the course of the night, and once, these, uh, once they'd finished these, Jack bought some more from someone inside the club, which he also took. Around 5.30 a.m., they went to leave, but one of the security guards uh, thought Jack looked unwell and took him in to a medical area. He suffered a cardiac arrest whilst being treated by paramedics at Fabric. He was later taken to hospital where he died. Uh, today, the coroner said that the cause of Jack's death was MDMA toxicity and that he had been a naive drug user just going to a club and doing what everyone else around him appeared to be doing. But she said in this case, it had ended in tragedy. And Alice, we know that the club behind you has been closed since September, but it's set to reopen later this week. Yes, yeah, since 2010, there have been six deaths related to drug activity at Fabric. And in September, Islington Council revoked the club's license, forcing it to shut. Since then, the club and the council have come to an agreement uh, allowing Fabric to reopen with new conditions. And today, Jack's uncle spoke about how the family feel about the relaunch of Fabric this Friday. It's not really about any case of retribution or, 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 or getting justice. It, today was just about understanding what happened to Jack, how it happened, and how we can avoid it happening to anybody else in the future. If, you, if fabric shuts, it's going to be another club somewhere else opening up in another venue. It makes no difference to us. Today, the general manager of Fabric spoke to the inquest about the changes that would be put in place at the club. These include completely new security uh, procedures and banning under 19s. He said anyone caught with drugs at the club would be banned for life. But he wanted to stress that the problem was wider than just here at Fabric and that more uh, education on drugs generally was what was needed. Riz. Uh, Alice, thank you for the latest there. Alice Salfield.